Hey, what is up, boys? It's your boy Jam. And today, we've got some World War Three for you. Something interesting happened yesterday. The devlog for World War Three came out. New strikes, new weapons, new vehicles, cosmetic items, customization on the go for your gun inside a, hopefully inside a match, which seems pretty awesome to say. Um, if you guys do own this game and you guys are like, I don't know about getting back in. There's so much bugs. There's this and that. Honestly, you guys might just want to get back in and have fun and play again because hopefully in a couple of months, before 2020 is over, I'm hoping they're going to release the full game and I'm really excited. I was looking at some of my comments yesterday because I don't get notifications when someone comments on my videos and a lot of people are hoping that this is not a pay to win game and I want to be honest with you guys, if this does become pay to win, this game will for surely die it will just if they make it pay to win everybody's gonna hate that because when you come to play world war three you there's no pay to win mechanics here you just all have different guns and honestly i've realized that no matter what attachments you put on your gun it just makes you heavier and nothing really happens unless that's just me but we are hoping that my games and far 51 does not make this a pay to win game if it does oh my god they're gonna kill it they're gonna kill it so fast I, I i don't even know i really don't even know like a pay to win game kills every single game i agree with everybody on that if they make it free to play they do a battle pass they do shenanigans like that dude this game will thrive i think i hope it will and with the promises they do have with this game i hope they keep it just i pray to god they never make it free to play i mean pay to win a free to play wouldn't be bad like i said a, co a battle pass with cosmetic items that would be dope and what i'm hoping for this game is by the end of 2020 before this game comes out or if it comes out way before 2020 that this game is going to thrive again and there's going to be a bunch of youtubers a bunch of content creators that are going to come back to this game and make it grow again because i do know there's a bunch of people that play it but they wake up and they don't find the new matches and that sucks luckily for me on this beautiful tuesday morning for myself i was able to get on this match and i was like holy crap there's a 20 there's a i think it was like a 20 something out of something for tdm and there was like 11 out of 30 for this war zone and i was like you know what i'm gonna get into it because for sure i'm gonna find a match uh, this game not find a match this game is gonna grow and it did it was like a 9v10 this whole time and then a 10v10 and i was like oh my god thank god i got into this game thank god i found a perfect match this tuesday morning to record and edit and upload for you guys um other than that, I've been talking to a moderator on the World War III uh, Reddit. Uh, it's about that time. And we were talking about maybe uh, doing weekly games where everybody gets on on a certain time, on a certain day. So if you guys are on the Reddit community page, please, 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 please be on the lookout for that. We are, uh, he is going to try to post when we should do these weekly games. Most likely it's going to be on a Friday. So hopefully we can do that, boys, uh, ladies and gents. Um, if you guys are down for that, please be look out on the Reddit page. We're going to try to do weekly games where everybody hops on on a certain day at a certain time and we just get a bunch of matches going. And I feel like that's going to be a good way to get this game rolling in the right direction if we're able to find matches. So what better way than to be able to get everybody on at the same exact time. So no matter what, everybody's going to have matches. How is it going to work? Is it going to work? I literally have no idea if this is going to work. But if this does work and every, let's say, like Friday, we get on at this 8 p.m. Pacific time or whatever time is perfect for everybody or however we do it, just think about the games you guys are going to be able to play. You guys are going to get out of the game and, damn, just hop into a new one and it's going to be a full match. That's my, that's my vision for when we're going to do this is I hope that everybody gets on and we're all being going to be able to play together and we're going to bring this game back to life the state of the game yes is a weird state yes i just i like i said i just got the game very recently not even recently more it's already been like a good month or two months that i got the game but still i got into this game at a very weird spot and i'm glad that i'm here at this little weird spot of this game because this game is fucking awesome dude all right boys i'm just gonna keep talking um 
I'm gonna quit talking. My bad. I'm not really good at this live commentary shit. It's kind of hard. I don't know if you guys ever tried talking for about like four minutes or five minutes. Maybe I should write an itinerary and actually talk about what I'm gonna be talking about in the video. But if you guys are on Reddit page or on any of the Reddit communities for World War Three or World War Three community, please be on the lookout for that. I do want to start doing this where we do type like weekly games, and hopefully uh, the moderator that I was talking to it's about that time. Hopefully he uh, picks a day and we start doing this a little quite early so we can all start playing, guys. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like. If you guys are brand new to this channel, please subscribe. I am trying to upload World War Three videos every day. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace. Alpha 1 is under attack. Friendly airstrike. Get Area Alpha is under our Enemies have overrun the Alpha 2. Enemy UAV overhead.